Hello, Chris Richter here from ricochet.com.au. We're going to look at part of the H5P series. If you haven't already looked at the first one, jump back to the video and have a look about what H5P is and how you put H5P activities into your content. Once you know what that's all about, let's go in. We're going to look at the accordion example today. So the accordion is quite simple. It is just an accordion, which is just a way of hiding and showing content is just a way of hiding and showing content inside your Moodle page that just makes it easier for users or for students to be able to see information under a topic without it sort of giving them that big massive page scroll that they often have to go through that just looks too much. So it, it squashes things down a bit easier and much better for you to be able to present your content. Let's have a look at an example of what this accordion is. If I go into the accordion example, you will see I'm inside a H5P page in Moodle in our H5P demo course. The accordion that we have has two panels, favorite Empire Between songs. If you haven't listened to Empire Between, there's the link there, go and have a listen. I play all the music, recorded, wrote, all of that. And my daughter is actually the singer who wrote the lyrics and melody. That's just some of our music. But my favorite Empire Between songs are Grown, Wanderlust, not in any particular order, to the top, Devil's in the Details, Tell Me the Secret. This one here did really well in a songwriting competition recently. Okay, so that's one panel. The next one is my favorite YouTube videos. Now you'll notice there that when I open this second panel for the accordion, the first one closed, which means they don't have a massive big scroll area that they have to scroll through if both panels were open at the same time. And here there's a link which does actually take you off to the website as well. Same as the link over here that does the same thing, takes you off to the music website, which shows you all those songs. Feel free to go and have a listen. And the uh, favorite YouTube videos, again, there's a link there and a list of content. So that's all the accordion is. But how do we go about creating an accordion? Let's go. So two ways to do it. The probably most logical way for you to, to create your H5P activities is to create them inside your course. So if you go into your course, add an activity or resource, and we'll put this down in our topic two. We'll call this experiments. We go into add a H5P activity. So we just go H5P, and this will be our accordion that we're going to create. We go down to here, and because we haven't actually created the H5P object yet, we need to create it first. So we need to go into the content bank, which will open in a new window. So just close those out the way. You can see I already have some already created. All you need to do is click on add and choose the type of interactive content out of here. And obviously the first one is accordion because it's alphabetical. So we just choose accordion and we give it a title. We can call that whatever we like. So in this case, accordion practice. So this is just where we're gonna practice putting one together. This title here, is the title for the accordion itself. It doesn't have to be displayed or anything, but it can be. Whereas this title down here is part of the first panel. So by the first panel, I'm gonna call it panel one, because I won't worry about what the content is or the titles are, that's not important, just where they are positioned is important. Then the text that goes in the first panel, we'll call that panel one text or content. And you can put all sorts of content in there. What you can't put in there easily is images because it doesn't have the option for that. So inside these particular accordions, uh, you can just format content, right, left, bold, italic, uh, put bullets in, uh, create links, and also have in there uh, horizontal rules as well. You can change the headings, it's limited, but there is some heading options, and you can change the font sizes by percentages. And that's an important thing when you're going into mobile device development as well. So I'll leave that bar in there. So that's our first panel. We choose add panel to add another panel. So we call this panel two. And this is panel two content that goes in there. And we can add an extra panel if we like, doesn't matter. Panel three, panel three content. And we'll put that in there. That's our panel three. This is our panel two. All right, we can choose what the heading uh, tags are for the labels. 
It doesn't affect the size of them, but it can affect the CSS or the colors that you apply to it as well. So you can choose without heading two, heading three, heading four. All right, we choose save, and you can now see that our panel looks like this, panel one, panel two, panel three. All we've done so far is create this and store it in the content bank. You'll see up there, it just says content bank. We stored that in the content bank. We now need to go back. So we close this panel, go back to our page where we were putting our accordion experiment in here or example. We then go to package files and we look for our accordion practice. That's the one we did there. Accordion practice, which may be or should be under your course title. But if you can't find it there, it may be under system. So it depends whether you created it, created it inside your course or not. So here's our accordion practice. We just select, select this file and it's now been added. Then we can go save and display. And now inside our course, we have panel one, panel two, panel three in the content all ready to go. There are settings with this that you can apply as well because some of these being interactive do allow you to have a grade and a result. In this case with the accordion, there isn't anything really much you can do with it, except if we go into settings where it says, do you want to apply a grade? You can have a grade, actually do anything, but activity completion does. So you can say show activity complete. Uh, students must receive a grade to complete this activity. Students must view this activity to complete it. So viewing to complete actually makes sense, but it doesn't, this particular activity it doesn't have a grade to it, so we don't need to worry about a grade. So for a student, they'll just click on it, they'll view it, and it will say done because they've viewed the content that's inside the panel. And that's all there is to adding an accordion to your Moodle content using H5P. Hope that's been useful to you. My name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. Please check out the courses down below where I've got a lot of this type of information and quite detailed information. I think there's over seven hours worth of videos on teaching how to use Moodle 4.0. Uh, check that out in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next H5P video.